Hi, I'm Dan Wasser. We're going to take a look at the Sentinel Visualizer link analysis software. We'll start with a quick PowerPoint, just one or two minutes, just to tell you a little bit about FMS, and then I'll show some software to you. Just so you'll have a face attached to the voice, that's me. I'm Dan Wasser, Director of Business Development. We are located outside of Washington, D.C. in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. We've been in business over 25 years. We have several different products. As a quick aside, we do a lot of custom software development. Uh, if you or if you hear of anyone that needs software written from scratch or you have databases and you want reports written, uh, we do that kind of custom work. But today we're going to talk about Sentinel Visualizer, which is a COT system, commercial off the shelf. You just download it off the internet, install it, plug and play, you're good to go. And we'll review entities, relationships, and networks as we get into the demo. Our clients include the intelligence community, various U.S. government agencies, various commercial companies. I work with organizations all around the world. We use a Microsoft SQL Server database on the back end. Uh, that means that you can get to your data outside of our software. We don't lock you out like other vendors. It's your data, not ours. I'm here to provide personalized service. If you need anything, you call me, email me, Skype me, and I'll take care of you. We have analysts on staff that you can hire if you want training or mentoring or you have a set of data and you want help reaching your goals, they are available to assist. Speaking of data, it doesn't really matter if your data is people or money or phone calls. As long as you have data in a structured format like an Excel spreadsheet, or an access database, you can import the data into Sentinel Visualizer. And if it turns out that you like the software, you can get in for as little as $26.99. We publish this on our website. We have different editions, different features, different pricing, and I'd be more than happy to discuss this with you to determine the best solution. Also, as a quick aside, um, a lot of people are looking at IBM's Analyst Notebook is an alternative. We have a link on our website that compares the pricing. You can see that we are a third to a half of their prices. We offer a lot of value. All right, so let's take a look at some software. It all starts with a set of data. And by the way, any data that I show to you is either scrambled or publicly available. So I'm not showing anything secret or private to you. This is from a retail department store chain on the west coast of the United States where they were tracking gift card fraud. Each row represents a transaction and then they have their data structure. They have gift card number, store number, dates, locations. Now it doesn't really matter what the specific data is. You may not be using gift cards. Your data may be something else. But Sentinel Visualizer doesn't care if this is a gift card number, a phone number, an ID number, an email address, a person's name, an event. It's just data. The key is that it's structured and that you have the same kind of data in each column. So long story short, we uploaded this data to Sentinel Visualizer and discovered this network. So we can see at a high end, we have these different entities and the lines are connection lines or relationship lines. If we take the navigator and draw a little box here on the right, we can zoom around the network looking for things that might be interesting. And we zoom around and we come across this guy, Mark. Now if I double click on him, I can drill down to his record. I see his picture, I see information that we have about him on the briefing tab, I see metadata, these are all user definable fields that can be used to search on and or filter by. So you could say show me everyone with a particular employer or show me everybody with a particular characteristic. We can track notes. We did a surveillance on this guy. We can attach documents if I want to look at his driver's license, his employment application, an article he wrote on the web. See, Sentinel Visualizer is a database and everybody can enter data into the database. And when, that, when you look for that person, place, or thing and you find it, you can then visualize, in this case, his one degree network to stores and transactions. Again, your data may be different, but my data happens to be a gift card fraud database. Then we can take one of these stores and expand on it. And now you start to see these other relationships, these other connections. And in fact, we discover 
if we look at this area right here in the center, I'll zoom in, we can see that Brian and Mark are connected. They are linked by these stores. So two things. A, it would have been very difficult to figure out those links or connections from within this set of raw data. And two, maybe they're working together because they're both performing these transactions at the same stores. So you can discover these links and connections from within sets of data. Now if we go back to the main network and we send this out to Google Earth, You may have noticed that my data set had location specific data. So if your data has location specific information, you can send it out to Google Earth. These yellow thumbtacks represent the store locations that we got from the spreadsheet. And because our transactions were date stamped, also time stamped, but more specifically date stamped, we can see how the suspects travel from store to store over time using our time range tool in Google Earth. I could even focus in on a particular suspect if I wanted to look to see how just one person was traveling from store to store. Maybe I'm trying to predict their next step. Maybe I'm making a presentation in court and I want to visually show how the person goes from store to store. I can also drill down into a specific location. So this is one store within the chain. I can see the transactions that took place at that store and or the suspects and how many times they hit that store. So we're doing some pretty cool things with Google Earth integration. Now back in Sentinel Visualizer we also have a time range tool where we can see how the network grows over time, how relationships change over time, how people come in and out of the network over time. We also have a textual timeline view where we can see in this case purchases, how the purchases occur over a textual timeline. And we also have the social network analysis degree, closeness, betweenness, eigenvalue, all these various network metrics to help you determine who the players are in your network so that you can focus on those entities that are important. Now a different kind of data, we have telephone calls. Here we have a from number, a to number, date, and some various other information. The thing is, we have 4,000 rows of data. So it would be pretty difficult to figure out connections and links within this set of data. So long story short, we uploaded the data into Sentinel Visualizer and we found this network of all these telephones calling each other. Now one of the nice things is that you can colorize metadata. In this case, which telephones are on our targeted list and we can see we have three phones that are on the targeted list. So if we isolate two of these phones and use our shortest path tool, we can actually see these intermediaries and how these two telephones, and I'll zoom in a little bit, how these two telephones that are on our targeted list have intermediaries. So we, perhaps we should investigate these telephones as well because we have these two telephones on the watch list that are connected through these intermediaries, again, it would have been pretty difficult to figure out those connections in this set of raw data. Now, if we then go out and get links, let's get all links, we actually uploaded another set of data that showed the people that owned the phones. So it's not, we uploaded a phone book against the telephone call records, and now we see which people own these telephones. 
And again, the nice thing is we can colorize metadata, this time people on a watch list. And we see this area right in here. And if we use our navigator tool, we can see that these two people who are on the watch list, and again, use our shortest path tool to see how they're connected. And we have these intermediaries. So we might investigate the people that own these other phones because they are intermediaries to these to these two bad people on the watch list. And so it's very easy to visualize how people are connected, not only through watch list, targeted list, but also just through relationships. We have various outputs where you can send to a PDF for large printer plotter printers. You can export an image if you want to email a PNG, JPEG, or bitmap to somebody. Now that's a static image. We also have a feature called Sentinel Reader, which is a free view-only tool. Anybody can download it on this page. So you, as a licensed user, can export an image we call it an SVX file. And then a reader user can open that SVX file and actually drill down to the details behind the entity. It's more than just a static image. It's more than just a screenshot like this export. This is just a screenshot. But Sentinel Reader allows you to drill down. Now, it doesn't let you edit or change the data, but it does let you drill down and move the network around and take a look at the details behind the entities. So that in a nutshell is Sentinel Visualizer.